I'm going to show you how to make this knitted headband with buttons to hold your face mask. If you're wearing a mask for a long period of time, it's going to hurt your ears because when you're doing the homemade version, this is just a, a hair tie. So um, I'm going to show you now how I did this. I'm going to start by crocheting a length that I can use as a tie for one end. Just make a loop and do a crochet chain for about three inches. So I've done this actually it's more like five inches and now I'm going to take it off of the crochet hook and put it on to my knitting needle and I'm going to just increase on every row until I get to the desired width that I want. So there's two inch, two stitches and now I'm going to increase another one. You can do any increase that you like and turn and I'm going to increase on that middle stitch and keep doing that as I said until you've gotten to the width that you want. Now I've got two stitches in the middle so I can do the increases before I get to the last stitch like I always want to do. So here we go with another increase and I know that I'm knitting fast but you guys know how to do this and I want to get this done so that I can put it to use as soon as possible. So increase two stitches before and after every end stitch until you get to the desired width. I've gotten it to the width that I want it to be. It's about four inches. You can do whatever you think is right for whoever you're making it for. For a child it would be smaller. For a man it would probably be bigger. But anyway, um, I'm at this point and now I'm just going to knit straight, garter stitch every row until I get it to the length that I want it to be. So I will just show you, but of course, you know, slip the first stitch and knit every stitch all the way across the row. And if I'm going too fast, if you don't know how to do the garter stitch, you can watch my video on all these things. How to do the garter stitch, how to decrease, how to increase, how to knit a chain with crochet hook, and that's all you need to know. And on the last stitch, I always knit through the back just to make it tighter, and that's it. And like I said, just keep knit, 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 knitting. <laughs> and until you get to the length that you want and I'll meet you back here then. So this is about 15 inches now and I'm going to start the decreasing to match the bottom end. And here I So I'm going to slip one, slip two, knit the next stitch, pass the stitch over. And I'm going to continue knitting until I get to the last three stitches. If you need to know how to decrease at an edge, you can watch my video for that. But meanwhile, I'm just going to keep going. I'm at the last three stitches. I'm going to knit two together and knit the last one through the back. I'm going to turn the work around and I'm going to do a decrease at each end until I get to one stitch. So once again it's slip, slip, knit, pass the slip stitch over at the beginning and then when you get to the last three stitches knit two together and knit one. And I'm just going to crochet the chain about four to five inches to match the chain at the other end. And then you're just going to take your scissors, cut that thread off, sorry, and 
and pull through. Now you can either just leave it like it is, I don't think it'll go anywhere, but if you want to make absolutely sure, you can just put a few more knots in the bottom at both ends. And now I'm ready to sew on the buttons to hold the mask. So stay tuned. So we finished the headband. Here it is. I've sewn some buttons on both sides. You can see, 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 and you can make this yourself. It's all homemade and I hope you'll give this a try. So in the meanwhile, like me, subscribe, comment, so forth and so on, and have fun knitting. It's a great time to stay in and knit and be safe.